Home Assistant has finally released this feature wherein you can provide custom colors for your energy graphs. So now, since the September 2023 release of Home Assistant, you can provide color codes in your Home Assistant configuration in order to have different colors for your energy graphs. So today we'll be looking into this, so let's get started. So first of all, you have to make sure that you're running the September release of Home Assistant of the year 2023. And as of now, when I'm making this particular video, this is the latest release right now. Now, in case you're starting off with Home Assistant for the first time, there's a video linked somewhere here, as well as into the description below, wherein you can actually start installing Home Assistant for the first time. So now considering this energy graph that you already have, and this is the view that you actually get when you see this energy graph, right? So now let's actually see how we can change this particular colors. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my configurations here. So I'm going to open this configuration tab for my home assistant. And in my configurations, I'm going to specify this particular settings here. So let me enable this here. So I'm going to specify this front end and then under that themes, and I'm going to specify a name of the theme. So I'm going to specify like this custom home assistant theme. This is the name of a theme. And I'm going to specify this particular keys. So energy grid consumption color hyphen zero will actually correspond to the first device. That is the zero device. That is the first device actually. And then this is for the second device. This is for the third device and so on. So you can specify n number of devices. Right now it's specified for seven devices. That is from zero to six. Now how exactly this actually would look like is let's actually go to settings. In my settings section, let me go to the dashboards and go to energy graph. And now this particular dock socket that I have, this is going to be actually the first one from here. Then the second one that is a CPU fan submission is going to be my second one, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this particular configuration and then I'm going to go to developer tools and I'm going to click on restart. So while restart, I'm just going to reload the YAML configuration. I don't have to restart entire Home Assistant. So this will take a minute or two, but you don't need to restart Home Assistant. So with this, you can actually check various colors that you need to provide. And this is how you can do it. So now, assuming that this is up and running, I'm going to actually now refresh this particular page. So as of now, the changes have not taken place. Why? Because you need to go now to your profile and here instead of using the default theme you're going to now select the custom home assistant theme so i'm going to select this custom home assistant theme and then let's go back to our energy graph now now as you can see the energy graph is all now colorful so it has really bright colors that i've provided here so this is the first color that i've provided here that is a dock socket and that's the dock socket that has been configured here right now so this is the way you can actually specify different colors for your energy graph. Now let's go back to the configuration here. So let me open the configuration here. And now these colors that I've specified here, you can use like a color picker. So let's go to a color picker hex. And here you can actually search for the colors that you want. So you can search for whichever color you like and then copy this particular hex value from here. And then I'm going to paste this as for my first device. I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to go to developer tools, reload this, give it a minute for the configuration to reload. And then let's look at the magic now. So I'm going to go back to my energy graph. And as you can see, the color has now changed. So this is how you can actually change the colors for your default theme. Now, what if you have custom themes, right? So now I'm actually running with some custom themes and let's look at that. So for this, I'm going to actually comment out this. That means I'm going to disable this configuration and I'm going to enable my custom themes here. So this is my custom theme configuration here. And for this, I will be going to my custom themes. So let's go to my custom theme.yaml file here. And in my custom theme, I have 
this iOS dark blue mode red which is there and I have specified the same type of configuration here with the energy grid consumption color and the index as well as the color next to it. So now I'm going to save this actually and I'm going to now reload my home assistant. So only the YAML I want to reload it and with this next I'm going to go now to my profile and I'm going to reload this page and now I'll get these custom themes here. So I usually use this theme here that is iOS dark mode and this is the theme color that I have. Now let's go and look at our energy graph. So as you can see, my energy graph now has those beautiful colors. Now you must be wondering what about these colors here, right? So right now this feature is still under development. So most probably in the next release, we will get these colors here also reflecting what exactly each of these colors are. And I will make a video about this. So make sure you subscribe to this particular channel when this particular video comes out. So this is how you can actually provide custom colors for your energy consumption graph. So I hope you like this particular video and make sure you hit the like button as well as subscribe for more such videos to come in the future. Till then, I will see you in my next one.